Well, if around the water cooler Ross Chastain's big win isn't the first topic of conversation, then it's going to have to be Ryan Blaney's big accident. Lap 147, Brad Kozlowski has a little trouble on the restart, stacking up the field. It ends up spinning Blaney three, four, five-ish wide. He's definitely in a bad position, but the car I want you to focus on is back here. The yellow car of Blaney, the darker car, Kyle Busch. Yeah, as you look at this rolling forward here, check up, they're pretty wide. Blaney checks up, Kyle Busch gets in the back of him. Two sl slide through here, but really, let's talk about how this impact right here with Blaney. Uh, it's not just one that happened. He was trying to drive his way through this. Well, I think that's the key. So I'm gonna draw right here on this. What's interesting is I think we all expected the car to more head in this direction right here, right? Spin out of the grass down into towards into turn one. Instead, it took this hard left-hand turn. Blaney even talks about it. After he gets out of uh, the infield care center, he talks about how he was driving this car. So let's zoom in a little bit. I think people think this driver is along for the ride. Ryan Blaney's doing anything but he is driving this car, unfortunately, all the way to impact. Yeah, he was. And, and if you look at this, as it comes out, the trajectory looks like it's going to be, but it hooks there. It hooks left. He's got the wheels turned right. He's trying to get out of this. I actually think they catch up and actually get grip back. And, and, and the rear tires are still sliding and the rear of the car continues to slide around. So although the wheels are turned to the right, which I think Ryan's doing the right thing, he's trying to get out of this. But it's like the front catches up with grip and the rear never does. And that, that continues this hook into the left, into a, into a wall that's not protected with safer barriers. I think that's the next point of this conversation, right? So that's how he got to this situation. We're gonna show you this over and over, but this impact, I think it felt so severe to the driver because it is a concrete wall with no safer barrier. There's gonna be a lot of discussion. Ryan Blaney has some very pointed comments about how it should have been covered. Very easy to say after it happens. But I think at this point, if there's any walls at a racetrack, if they need to be there for any reason, they should be have be covered with a safer barrier. Yeah, any place that you feel like that wall's got to be there to keep cars from getting to it, we need to con consider that cars can get to it. Uh, square hit for him here, and, and one of those, this is, NASCAR's got some updates coming to the front clips to soften up these things, but I think the racetracks need to do their part too. Safety, it's more than just the car. The drivers have a hand in it, the car has to match that, and the tracks as well have to keep up with safety. But luckily for Ryan Blaney, he was okay. And the other good thing for Ryan Blaney is with that win, it's not about points, he knows he's in the playoffs, but we are getting to that point of the summer where the playoffs and the points are a conversation, no bigger conversation perhaps than Chase Elliott, his position in the points, and can he make the playoffs?